Vlogers why I think Canada is a great country, but you should also know the truth. So no doubt Canada is one of the wealthiest developed first world nations in the world. And we have great infrastructure, healthcare, quality of life, safety, security, old age benefits, education, everything's great. And it definitely is the land of opportunity for somebody coming from a third world country, for example. But a lot of things that people don't know is that the Canadian government, like most Western governments, has a lot of taxes. So all the health care, the quality of life, the infrastructure that you see here comes out of your pocket. And up to 40% income tax come out of your income. So if you're making $1,000, for example, you only take home 600 bucks. And out of those 600 bucks, you have to pay the bills, you have to take care of your kids, you have to buy food, and anything that you buy has further sales tax on it. So what ends up happening is a lot of people move from a third world nation to Canada and they assume that life is going to be all glitz and glam and fine and dandy that they, you know, like they see in the Hollywood movies. But it's not always that. You have to work your butt off to be able to make a living. So what ends up happening is you end up living day to day, paycheck to paycheck, and there's absolutely no savings. You have no savings for yourself or to send your family back home. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing necessarily because the government does take care of you. The health care system, security, safety, equal rights, the infrastructure, developmental programs. Uh, they take care of the youth. They take care of the old people. All that stuff is good that people in third world countries don't have. But there's a lot of trade-offs, right? So you have to see what kind of trade-off works best for you. If money and being able to save a lot of money, being able to, you know, settle down in a, in a first world country is your major priority short term, then Canada is not a viable option for you. But if you want to move to a country like Canada for long term, for your kids' education, for citizenship, for the equality, the rights, uh, and being able to enjoy long term benefits, then yeah, it's a great move to have. You know, because countries like, say, the Middle East, Dubai, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, you can live there for decades, but you'll never get those benefits as a citizen, right? They'll never give you residency or citizenship. So yeah, if you have this romanticized vision of what Canada is, it's not true. You know, like any place in the world, Canadians have their own challenges and like every government in the world we have our own complaints against the government but what you need to remember is that as long as you have a clear vision of what you want out of your life no matter where you go whether it's Canada or the Middle East or anywhere else you'll do well but if you have unrealistic expectations that oh once I get to Canada or America or UK or Europe my life's gonna change and you know I'm gonna be this or be that that's not gonna happen you know you have to have realistic expectations based on your life your experience your education your skills how much money you have right I mean all these things all these factors go into play so just bear that in mind and don't set yourself up for failure But yeah, if you ask me, then of course, having lived my whole life, personally, I would prefer Canada amongst any country in the world. Best place to live with great infrastructure, education, quality of life, safety, benefits, you name it. I mean, it's a country where you can never go hungry. You're never going to you know, go hungry. The government's going to take care of you. It's a country where you have, you have no excuse of not being educated because if you don't have money for education, if you don't have money to pay for your college or university or that of your kids, the government's going to provide you a loan. If you don't have a house, the government's going to provide you housing. So there's no excuse to try to aim for a higher, better life. The government will help you. But then you have this other side, higher taxes, inflation, cost of living. It's ridiculous, right? I mean, you'll know if you get here. <laughs> the cost of living in Canada is one of the highest in the world. Inflation is one of the highest in the world. The housing market is crazy. Um, so if you're looking to save money, it's not going to happen in Canada anytime soon. Unless you become a multi-millionaire overnight, 
or your business or your career takes off to a point where you're able to save money even after taxes, that's an exception and that's very rare. But yeah, if you want a passport that is one of the top five best passports in the world, for sure, you'll be happy with a Canadian passport. I've, I'm able to travel pretty much any country in the world without a visa or without any issues. So passport wise, yes, Canada has one of the strongest passports in the world. But at the end of the day, I believe that wherever you are destined to make it, you will make it on God's green earth. God's green earth is spacious and vast. Wherever you are meant to be happy, wherever you are meant to preserve your wealth, your health, your peace and happiness, and if you try to give it your best with a pure heart, good intention, you'll make it. It doesn't have to be Canada. It could be in the middle of nowhere in Africa. It could be anywhere on earth. But if you have the sincerity of faith and a true heart and you want to make it for all the right reasons, you will make it. But yeah, on a positive note, Canadians are probably one of the most polite people you ever meet. We're very respectful. We're known around the world for manners. And we're, you know, we're known to be uh, quite good looking also. So, uh, but in all seriousness, I think um, anybody who's looking to come to Canada has to appreciate the fact that Canada has four seasons, is peaceful, and whatever I'm saying is compared to other Western nations, right? Almost no racism, right? Gun control laws. You, you've never, you'll never hear, you know, somebody crazy walking into school and shooting people up in Canada. It happens in other countries, not here. Uh, gang violence, drugs. Yes, here and there, but not an epidemic. And everybody's welcome, regardless of your nationality, your ethnicity, as long as you are Canadian, whether you're born here or not. People will respect you and people will honor and cherish you for who you are and what you stand for. Yeah, and I wanted to say one more thing. A lot of people don't know this, but Justin Bieber, Drake, Celine Dion, Brian Adams, Janiya Twain, the weekend, all these big names that you have in the music industry are actually Canadian, not American. Just because they live in America, because they've made a lot of money and now they're settled there in America, doesn't mean they're American. They're born and raised Canadians, pure Canadian talent. Just wanted to say that. So how about you smash that like button, press that subscribe button as well, and I'll be making more of these vlogs here and there where you have a more intimate connection, where I'm talking to you face to face and giving you tidbits and insights about what Canada is all about, you know? So stay tuned and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.